Okay, this video is intended for my CIS 160 class at Cochise College. Uh, it's an introduction to information systems class, but I understand that this being on YouTube, a lot of other people will see it, um, and that's fine. Now, on our Blackboard site, I've got a list of security tools, and one of them is our port scanning tool called Nmap. So if you click on that um, and download it, should download pretty quickly because it's a zip file. It'll open and you'll have a folder with three different things. You'll have an instructions uh, document and that should be pretty helpful. And then you'll have WinPCAP which is a program that Nmap needs to run. Uh, you'll want to install WinPCAP first. It's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to do it in the video but double click it, go through the wizard and you'll have to restart the computer. Okay. Now in the Nmap folder, you've got all the files that you need to make Nmap work. Now, what I've done here is I've copied it to my hard drive, okay? And to make navigating to it easy, I've, rela I've renamed it, okay? So I've called it Nmap, and then I've called it Nmap again, and you'll see why, okay? Now, to use Nmap, our port scanning tool, I'll go to Start Run, and I'll type in CMD. Um, I'll navigate to the C drive, C colon, type in CD, Nmap, change directory. I'll change directory again, Nmap, and I'll type in Nmap, and then the domain name. Okay, it can be whatever you want. I'll use one of my domain names, fyiftr.com. I'll press enter. Now, I'll actually go ahead and pause the video here if it takes longer than about 30 seconds but what it's doing is it's actually scanning that website to determine what ports are open and what ports are closed so it's a very powerful security tool now on that note it can be used for bad things right it's not an injector you can't inject any malicious code it's just a port scanner so it's determining what ports are open and what ports are closed. Now for network security administrators, that's a valuable thing. It's going to tell us where our holes are in our network. For a hacker, someone you know who has a more malicious intent, it's going to tell them what holes are open. Um, and in this case, the FYIFTR.com, uh, you know, it, it's basically filtering out a lot of ports but it's telling me for example that port 80 is open that service is HTTP right so web traffic TCP uh, port 21 which is FTP traffic is also open FTP data is closed right so this is some very valuable information um, I don't know if I'm gonna get into any trouble for doing this but I'm gonna try to end map one of the bigger sites uh, maybe something like um, uh, CNN.com. Okay, it's going to take a little while, so I'll pause the video until this is done. Okay, it's unpaused. The video has been unpaused, and it, it's basically um, not giving us a whole lot, which is good. I mean, CNN. It looks like CNN is doing a great job in terms of security. Port 443 is closed. Port 80 is open. All right. So I encourage you to try this tool. Uh, but you know, in theory, you should always have the um, the permission of the website you're doing it to but ultimately it's not that that big a deal it's not that intrusive of a tool uh, it might be the equivalent of sending a couple of ping packets to a website okay but very be very careful about the way you use this tool it can be used for good and it can be used for bad uh, but ultimately it's just scanning ports to see which ports are open and closed